Welcome to English in Pinellas County. This lesson is about Pinellas County. You will learn some things about its past and about its present. Pinellas County is one of the most beautiful counties in Florida. It is famous for its sunny days and beautiful beaches. People come from all over the world to visit. People have lived here for at least 14,000 years. The first Europeans came in the 1500s. And people have been coming from all over the world ever since. Today's Pinellas County residents speak more than 70 native languages. English, Spanish, Albanian, Bosnian, Czech, Croatian, Hungarian, Polish, Russian, Ukrainian, Arabic, Hebrew, Creole, Portuguese, Dutch, French, German, Italian, Greek, Norwegian, Swedish, Hmong, Chinese, Mer, Lao, Vietnamese, and about 50 more. Pinellas County was organized in 1912. We celebrated its 100th birthday in 2012. There are 24 towns and cities in the county. Clearwater is the county seat. St. Petersburg is the largest city. Here's a little history. Welcome to Heritage Village, the pride of Pinellas County. It is certainly a very special place. Here, you can walk brick paths, like those that the early settlers traveled as you wind your way through more than 20 historical structures from Pinellas County's past. From the Native American and Spanish period to the pioneer days and other times in our county's history, these exhibits give you a real look at Pinellas County through the ages. You can even see how the county defended itself during World War I with the establishment of a home guard. Come on into the Roy Helms Room, which features both permanent and special exhibits depicting various themes in local and state history. Did you know Pinellas was once one of the largest citrus producing areas in the state? Imagine those farmers bringing in the harvest just browsing our collection of citrus crate artwork from packing houses which called Pinellas home. The real magic of Heritage Village begins when you step out onto the grounds. The sights and sounds will transport you back to a simpler, less hurried time in our county's past. Come on along. <laughs> Watch your head here at the McMullen Log Cabin, the oldest existing structure in Pinellas County. The doorways were built for the average person of 1852. They were about five foot two or three inches tall. The captain tended the number of citrus groves and industry which would later define Pinellas County. And his wife Elizabeth, well, she tended to midwifing, delivering 55 children right here in this very cabin. This place was almost lost to fire in 1976, but it was restored and now safe in our village. Volunteers demonstrate quilting, rug hooking, spinning, basket making, weaving and embroidery, each guild setting up their operation in their own room. Spinning, weaving, sewing and such were not just hobbies, they were required by the self-reliant settlers in such a remote place as Pinellas. Families had to feed and clothe themselves. See the skill of these craftsmen and women here from September through May. The old heritage mercantile which stood in St. Petersburg, sold all manner of goods to the local resident. Back in the 1920s, our hard-earned money seemed to go a whole lot further. Why a typical family's grocery bill for a week, including butter, eggs, flour, and other such staples, would run about $3. Mercantiles such as this also provided a means to get other goods and services besides groceries. Even in the sleepy corners of little old Pinellas County, Nearly anything could be ordered by catalog, including automobiles, farm implements, and even kid houses from Sears and Roebuck to be assembled on your home site. Since mercantiles were hubs of commerce, naturally they expanded, 
and began to serve as a mechanic's garage to repair the early Model A and Model T cars, trucks, and tractors, which helped farm the land and as a filling station for gasoline. Many thanks to the Pinmar Auto Club for their efforts to restore the store and garage. Finally, if you wanted to get the latest news, well, you could drop in, pick your mail up at the post office, which also serves as a phone exchange, and if you had time to stay a spell, perhaps you could while away an afternoon and catch up with the local gossip with some of your neighbors at the barber shop. We hope that you've enjoyed this brief tour of Heritage Village. But now, if you think I've covered all the historical fun and educational places and happenings, don't be fooled. We've only begun. Now it's your turn to experience firsthand all of the delights and visions of a simpler time gone by.